with more reactive, majestical, imperial. We're gonna try Unreal Mode again, having not really practiced the game at all since the last time. I did some research on the wiki to learn more about the game. So, uh, with that newfound knowledge, we're gonna go ahead and use um, this team, which consists of Yarochi and Sukune. Uh, they have four bombs per life, and I hear they're just generally better, so I will not say no to that. Alright, so what are these mechanics I've looked up? Well, we already know about the whole thing, about having an active partner and a passive partner. Um, the passive partner um, will net you a benefit depending on who they are. In this case, as my passive partner is Sukune, they'll cause items to sort of gravitate towards me, I guess. Um, so those little items, they're called spear items, and they fill up this jar to the right, and if you get the jar filled up to 200, or every interval of 200, um, you'll get this thing called Zenith Jar Mode. Your character will flash red, and I guess you'll get a death bomb if you get hit. But it doesn't really last long, but it gets stronger and lasts longer, like, um, the more total you have of spirits. Like, a Zenith Jar Mode at 1000 is gonna last longer than a Zenith Jar Mode at 200. And also, you're able to give your partner power items by letting them collect them. I didn't know partners could collect power items when I played this game first. And the power items they get are worth doubled as well, which makes it easier for them to go to max power, so that's actually a really important detail. Though, granted, during stage 2 you'll have max power for both partners anyway, so it's not like power is a particularly big deal. Um, flash bombs are used by unfocus bombing. Regular bombs are just used by focus bombing. Um, I think in EMS you were unable to regular bomb if you unfocus bombed and didn't have a full flash scotch, but I think they changed it in this game, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't really like risking it, so I just focus anyway when I bomb. Um, whenever you bomb and flash bomb, you switch between your characters, and you'll use the bomb of the other character as well as the other character's flash bomb. It's really weird. Um, and Yarauchi's passive ability, by the way, is that when you fill up the Flash God just Sukune, you get a free screen clear and slash. Also, um, during the Zenith Jar mode, I hear that your partner will fire for you, too, so that's pretty cool. I think that's an exclusive ability to this team, though. Anyway. Apparently, everything on this boss should be doable except for the, um, final spell, so... I actually should not be bombing on anything that's not the final. And the final should be done with one flash bomb and one bomb. You flash bomb to switch to Sukune, and then you use your bomb as Yadaochi to finish her off. Um, the Sukune bomb won't do any damage, but the Yadaochi bomb will. Also, Yarochi's power is tremendously good. Alright, so we'll go ahead and use that. And when I'm in danger, I'll go ahead and bomb, and the Yarochi bomb will be enough to take care of it. Sweet sauce on an Egg McMuffin. That was totally lame, wasn't it, what I just said? Oh well. Alright, stage two, aka here on out is where I haven't practiced. Also, I should note that because I'm playing as a different team, I'm going to have a different stage 4 boss, so that's a good meme. Alright, so I'm just going to ignore power items so my partner can get them. Um, I don't really know the optimal points to main Sukune versus the optimal points to main Yarochi, so I'm just going to play it by ear. I don't think it matters that much, honestly, but it might. Um, Sukune will be lacking in power though, so I should probably try to get some power as her. And that's just a um, semi-blind play mistake there. As I said, I didn't really practice these stages, so I don't really know the order of the attacks. Oh, um, if I can get enough grace, I'll get that- I can show you that screen clear ability that Yadaochi has. I don't think I'll get it, so I won't bother with it.
I'll get it during this spell. Which is probably not a good spell to get it on, but it's okay. Also, I guess you can kind of shotgun with Sukune if you're close to the enemy, because your shots are like curved diagonally and word at first, so that's interesting. Alright, it's there. You see, you get a screen clear slash. Oh yeah, so the Zenith Jar mode does let your partner fire, as proven by that. And now mo both of my party members are at max power, which is very helpful. Alright, so the, the final bit of the stage um, kind of feels impossible, but that's just because I haven't learned it. All I know is that a bunch of enemies will spawn out of nowhere, and if I don't know where they're coming from, I'll die. I'm pretty sure that I can kind of guess and just be on the side of the screen. Oh hey, it's that gimmick from um, the other games with the enemy switching sides. Alright. There's a part where I need to like be on the sides of the screen to instantly kill a lot of enemies spawning. Here it is, yeah. See, I knew about that part before it happened, so I was able to get through it without dying. Yeah, this part too. You gotta know what's coming. And that should be the end of the stage, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so it looks like Sukune was really good on the stage portion. I'm guessing it's Sukune for stages, Yarochi for bosses. Eggplant person! Why are you writing an eggplant? Explain yourself! Okay, so, um, I hear that the second non is impossible, really, and you should just bomb it, but the first non can be dodged consistently, so I'm not going to try to bomb on this first non, because I know it can be done. Also, I just realized this music is a remix of the title theme, isn't it? Oh god, the first spell. Also, if I say her by mistake, my bad. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, I don't need to bomb on this because this is really easy. The second non, I'll try to flash bomb first. No, you know what I need to do? No, it's not the second non, it's the third non that's impossible. This one's fine. Alright, so what I'm definitely going to do is on the second spell, it's really weird and I don't really understand it. Okay, I had to flash bomb there. That's weird. Alright. Yeah, I, I don't really understand this attack, so I'm just gonna bomb it. I tried practicing it, actually, admittedly. I know I said I didn't practice this stage, but I did, I did practice the boss a little bit. Um, I mean, I guess that means I did practice the stage, but I don't really remember anything about the stage, but I tried timing down that spell to try to figure out how it worked, and I, I, I come up with nothing, honestly. I don't think I really need to learn that attack, though, to be successful. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take for Sukune to finish this off, so I think I'm just going to Flash Bomb and finish it off with Yadaochi, who I know has good power. And that seemed to be the safe option there. Um, I know that Yarochi isn't the best at stage portions, but I think it'll be okay. She is still powerful and relatively fast, so I should still be okay. When in doubt, I can always flash bomb back to Sukune if I feel like I have to. Not that I- actually, no, this is the Lotus Land story stage, the Bad Apple stage, so I can probably graze a lot on it. Just filling up that Zenith Jar mode. Yay for blind play! <laughs> well, I'm back to Sukune, so there's the problem solved, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so this is the stage that has the ghost person. The Yuyuko. Yeah, it has Yuyuko in it. I probably do want to graze. Okay, good. I wanted my flash bomb ready for the mid boss. I don't know how hard this is, but if I feel like I'm in danger, I will just flash bomb. Like right there. One thing I really should have tested is do flash bombs actually do damage? 
I don't know, but I, I primarily use them as screen clearing tools, and I think I, I was pretty sure I bombed there, but I guess it didn't work. Weird. I don't really know how how this game's death bomb system really works, so I don't really know the intervals. <coughs> I think it's really harsh compared to Toho, though, from what I can gather. Yeah, no. God, those... I I'm kind of getting sick of seeing those bubble walls. Damn, I don't have a full power yet, Aochi. This sucks. Oh, come on. 4.98 power. Don't be mean. Come on. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I like this theme, by the way. I have to admit, it's pretty rockin'. I could graze those edges for my flash bomb. I'll just try to dodge without it. <laughs> nope. I made the mistake of trying to dodge. My bad, my bad game. Alright, well, I'll give Yadochi some power. Alright, so I hear that how to dodge this, I'm supposed to start here and then make my way up. I, w I was kind of taken aback by that flash bomb, but it's okay. Yeah. But of course, as Sukune, my damage is shite. So I'm not going to kill things as fast, but hey, I, I, um, I, I learned how to do that by watching a Jamers video. <laughs> That's how you play Linen. You, you watch, like, Jamers or Prunts and you steal their strats. Alright. Oh, this is the one where you're supposed to stay high on the screen. I swear to god, this reminds me of Marine Benefit. Tell me I'm not the only one. Well, it's also like that Sawako spell, too, but... This attack is really silly, because it's just an illusion, if anything. It's actually completely trivial, but if you don't know that you're supposed to stay on the um, top of the screen, you'll just get walled. But it, it's, it's weird. Okay, this is a type of bullshit I don't like. I'm pretty sure I can just flash bomb this and graze, but honestly... This is the linen meme that I don't like, where you have the squiggly things that are really hard to predict and read. Alright. From my understanding, you need to dodge this high on the screen. But I don't really know how high. So I died. Um, uh, why? That was kind of bullshit. Those lanterns kind of walled me off. Like, what the fuck, Jinx? Why? Okay, um... This is the, the squiggly meme that I don't like. Seriously, I, I hate this squiggly meme. It, it really pisses me off. I, I don't want to deal with it. Stop with the squiggly meme. I know it's iconic, but it's obnoxious. Well, I have an extend. A lot of these deaths are just silly deaths. I'm guessing I needed to kill one to survive. Oh, if I had known that was aimed, I could have grazed that. <laughs> Jinx's designs are so random. Like... Oh, I, I was conveniently in the right place at the right time for these fairies, so by all means, I would gladly trivialize them accidentally. Okay, so hopefully this stage 4 boss is easier this time around because I'm playing as a different team. I don't know who I'm going to fight. 
If it's the main characters, I might be okay because I fought them in EE, so I have kind of some experience with them. But if it's not them, I might be screwed. Then again, that, that's really bad logic because you don't know what the hell the patterns are until you fight them. So assuming something will be easy just because it's from a certain character is flawed logic. Okay, Yadaochi is kind of based here. Like, these just don't stand a chance. And I am not complaining. I'm guessing this stage is mostly a, a breather from all the action. Uh, okay, I, I don't like this laser shit. But Yadaochi seems pretty adept at handling this, so I'll just leave it to them. Okay, yeah, Yadaochi can handle this. And conveniently, I was in the right spot again. And let me guess, it's gonna be the same, but mirrored, and then the enemies are gonna go to the right, and I'm gonna need to be right here. Wow, I'm such a genius, who would've thought? <laughs> I've been around the back alley a few times to predict these kind of things. Not, not to brag or anything. All right, I went ahead and grazed that to get my flash bomb back, because you never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, like, as I, as I said, you never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> now, I would like to have my flash bomb back, but there isn't really anything to graze. Why is this stage so quiet, by the way? Isn't this supposed to be stage 4? But then again, I mean, I, I'm all for varying difficulty curves. I mean, a break in the action is always fine as well, but it's just oddly quiet. No. Just no. And I don't have a flash bomb, so I am royally screwed. Is it the protags? It's the, gonna be the protags. No, it's not. It's the um, it's the stage five boss and the extra boss. Oh, did they blur out their shadow because it counts as a spoiler? That's silly. You don't have to blur them out. I guess it's in consideration for people who haven't played EMS. They don't want to spoil that. that. That's funny. Alright. This can kind of be sight read, so I'm okay there. That's gonna explode or something. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus. What? Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what's coming? I don't have any bombs, so I just have to dodge. Wait, what? Uh, I, I, I caught on, but too late. Yeah, I, I caught on to what was happening, but it was just too late to react. <laughs> they blurred out the face. <laughs> they blurred out the face. It's a shadow, so you don't get spoiled on who the boss is. Oh my god. That's hilarious. No spoilers! That's going to explode into lasers. Uh, bomb, 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 bombs away! I love this theme, holy shit, it's so good! Okay, nope, 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 not having it, not having it, not having it. Oh, oh, I got paranoid. Wow, are they giving me bombs, or am I just hallucinating bomb items? Okay, no, just stop, stop, stop. Ooh, teamwork. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> oh hey, stage five. 
That boss seemed really learnable. That boss fight. I just I just need to be prepared for that knife thing. I still have four lives. Wow, okay. Stage five. Oh ghosts. Spooky They're actually kind of cute. Are we in like the netherworld? Did we die? <laughs> we died. Wow, this is like literally Saigoji or whatever the f- What's, What is the netherworld's title again? Haku Gyokuro! I should know that, I'm a PCB player! <laughs> I was gonna say Saigyo Ayakashi, but that, that's not the netherworld, that's the tree in the netherworld. Also, the, are these the PC-98 sound effects? That's really cute. That's the PC-98 charge effect. Ooh, this is a cool stage design. I like this. Just please make sure that they don't spawn in the middle, because I will cry. Let me graze! How are these bullets not getting grazed? Holy shit! <laughs> Why are the graze boxes so tiny in this game? <coughs> that is so counterintuitive for a game about grazing for flash bombs. What? Oh, it's the stage. Oh yeah, we're in the ghost world, of course. Yeah. I don't like this boss's patterns, though, because they're really scary, and I don't really know what to expect, but this seems very reasonable. Okay, one thing I noticed about Jinx games is that it feels like the patterns get more reasonable the further the game goes along. Am I the only one who thinks that? Or am I just insane? Like, you wouldn't see something like this in Stage 1. It's like the game gets more fair. I mean... I, I don't really know how hard that attack was, because I, I wasn't really prepared for it, but... I feel like I should kill those things, but... See, I, I've learned not to trust the, um, Jinx stages, because they're very unpredictable, and, um... What's the word I'm looking for? They're very, um... Volatile, yeah. Maybe I'll get to the final boss. As long as, I mean, if the stage 5 boss isn't too crazy, we'll see. We'll see how the stage 5 boss is. Wow, this is some good music. Uh Blooper. Oh no, it's getting spooky. I'm fucked. I'll just bomb. <laughs> Ooh, a one up! Holy shit! This game is being too nice to me. You don't have to you don't have to throw resources at me just because I'm bad. Oh a bomb! I missed the bomb! No! Holy shit, you look edgy. <laughs> you look so edgy. Wait, what what the fuck are you doing? What is this um SSS stage four boss stuff? Oh no, this is yeah, this is like the SSS stage four boss. Uh, actually they kind of remind me of Whoa, holy sh hitboxes! You, you have a lot of HP, I noticed. Please don't surprise me with a weird blind killing attack. Just let me dodge. With Jinx patterns, you're just encouraged not to take risks. Because if you take risks, you just surprise death and chain death, and it's really sad. Okay, I've caught on to how this works, so 
I just have to restream it. But see, this is what I'm talking about with easy patterns in the late game. I don't understand the difficulty curve. Granted, I, it's not necessarily a bad thing for there to be breaks here and there. It's just strange. Wow, flash bombing to Sukune and then bombing as Yarochi is kind of nifty. Because then I get that strong um, laser bomb. <laughs> this boss is mostly just random dodging though, so that's kind of cool. I mean, I know I'm, I, I say I'm a memo person, and I, I still do like memorization attacks, but in, 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 in Jinx games I think I just prefer the random stuff. Unless it's an absurdly extra. Alright, I'll flash bomb to get above that constellation, and then I'll move back down and finish the attack off with my awesome power. Okay, you are doing weird things. I don't have a flash bomb. I have a flash bomb. I can always switch back to Yarochi if things get a bit sticky. Um... Hey, it's random dodging again, isn't it? Just don't surprise me with weird lasers, okay? Go ahead and flash bomb back to Yarochi. Ooh, so this reminds me of um, MS Stage 5, kind of. Oh! One final attack, huh? I, I don't know what this gimmick is, so... Oh, it's just a background change, okay. I think I need to speed kill this with Yarouchi, or I'll die. Maybe? I don't know? Hey, Yarouchi, can you kill this in time? Can I trust you? Can I trust you? Can you kill this in time? Oh, fuck off. I'm too busy looking at what's going on below me. I'm not really focused on what's happening up here. Why does this have so much HP? Like, Jesus fuck. Like... <sighs> just ends, like... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well that was an unfortunate double death. We made it to the final stage. <laughs> what is this S? Oh, it's a full power clear. Or full power, yeah. Boss already? A boss only stage? Okay. Shion, oh my god, what are you doing? Wait. Am I not allowed to die? Am I not allowed to die? How do I damage this attack? Do I just instantly game over if I die? I, I, I don't know if that's the case, but that'd be really fucked up if it was. Also, for an attack that forces you to spin around, in order to balance those, you need to lower the HP. But I guess I'll just be patient. What even is this attack? It's so bizarre. 
You're an enigma, Jinx. I, 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 I'm really paranoid that I'm not allowed to die. I, I, I just, I have that feeling. I'll just go back to Yarochi to do damage. I think killing this as fast as possible is more beneficial to me. I can dodge this, I have the skill for it. Okay. I don't even want to know what those are, but I feel like they're gonna go around the screen and cause me to die. Why am I not allowed to die, by the way? Is that why the attacks are a bit toned down, so I don't accidentally die? I, I, I don't know, I just see a hand covering the life bar, so I'm pretty sure... I mean, maybe I'm just wrong about this, but like, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna test it out and die to see if I game over. Fuck that, dude, I wanna- I wanna win. Okay, seriously, what is up with these attacks that just last forever and do nothing? Just now. Wow, they're bomb immune. The, the boss is bomb immune. So the bombs aren't even gonna do anything. And I, I can't really even damage this attack well because, um, yeah, for obvious reasons. <laughs> I think I just narrowly escaped death there. Oh no, no! Invisible bullets? Fuck off with this Rui shit! I, I, no! Fuck off with this Rui trifocuser shit! No! Stop it! Why would you do this? Okay, it's not that bad, but <laughs> what the fuck, no. I don't like that. I'm, I'm honestly scared. <laughs> oh my god, this, this, is too, this is too quiet for comfort. Something's gonna happen. Oh, oh, yep, yep, things are happening. Oh, hey, you turned into Sawako now, good job. I don't trust this. I told you something was fishy with that. Are you adding lasers to this parade of death? Wait, I'm allowed to die? <coughs> I don't understand. I think I understand, actually. It, 
If you die, you don't get to proceed in the fight. Was that the final attack? Cause it said five out of eight. It said five out of eight. Did I win? Uh, I won? But I died. I, th I thought I wasn't allowed to die. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand. I won, but I didn't win. I don't- I don't get it. I won, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm done for tonight. I'll see you later.